Hi everyone, this is Dikshit. Welcome to my channel. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how we can migrate a repo from GitHub to GitLab. So I'm going to discuss about two methods. The first method is through UI, which is quite simple. You can go to GitLab and authenticate your GitHub credentials there, and you will be able to uh, import all the repositories or whichever the repository you want it onto the GitLab. You can do that import. But the second option is, for example, let's say uh, your GitHub is there in a private network and uh, you want to take one repository and push it back to the GitLab, wherein GitLab is not there in that um, private network. It is there in uh, some other network or it is hosted in some of the um, other um, cloud environment or so. So in that case, how uh, exactly we need to do this migration, I'm going to show you that. So let's uh, get into our, uh, our practicals straight away. And uh, so this is what my uh, GitHub. And let's say, for example, I want to migrate any one of the repository. So let's get onto the GitLab. And here, you just need to click on uh, create new project. And uh, once you click on that, you will gonna get few options. Create blank project, create from template and import project. So I'm gonna click on this import project and it will give you many options from which source I want to migrate the repository. In my case, which is uh, GitHub, right? I'm going to take this uh, particular GitHub and um, you can see, uh, so now, um, I don't know, this is a warning, I guess. So you can see here, authenticate GitHub. So when I click on this, so it'll, it'll going to ask me username, password. Else if you have any personal access token, we can create it in GitHub and then we can get that uh, pad token here. Okay. And as you can see, I've already, I guess, uh, using username and password, I've already authenticated. So that's the reason whatever the project that I uh, is available in GitHub, I'm able to see it here. So now it's just like, assume like you want to uh, uh, migrate this one from GitHub to GitLab. So then when you just click on this import button, it will take a couple of seconds and then you will be able to see that particular repository here. So this is quite simple and also uh, a very effective method because whatever the things which are you, you have created in uh, GitHub, will everything will be, uh, you'll be able to see it in uh, this particular repository as well. Okay, now uh, we will see another meta method. As I said, like, uh, for example, let's say you won't be able to authenticate sometimes in GitLab because it might be, uh, you know, the GitLab is hosted in some of the uh, uh, client network or a private network. So you won't be able to authenticate. If you face those kind of uh, issues, so in that case, by using command line, we will be able to migrate a repository from GitHub to GitLab. So let's, for this, what I need to do is, I just need to create one empty project here in GitLab. So let's do that. Click on uh, new project again. And uh, so click on uh, create blank project. So let me give this uh, name as migrate. And then I'm just making it as public and just click on create project. So now what we need to do, we need to select what project has to be migrated. So in my case, I'm just taking a Kubernetes repository. So before, so going, I mean, before like uh, just migrating on to that, like I'm assuming, so this is my GitHub is there in a private network and my GitLab is hosted in some cloud environment. Uh, so now let's go ahead and uh, we will clone it. So before this clone, so I want to explain you something. So when you do git clone, what happens? It will going to create a folder name. Uh, Kubernetes, and then inside that, all your source code will be there, right? So when I go inside this Kubernetes, all the source code will be there. And also there are a couple of other folders, which will be like .git, and uh, we will be able to see, uh, if, if git ignore is there, .git ignore is there, we will be able to see that also. So now let's get into the .git folder and have a look at this. Like this is a metadata about this repository, right? So it is kind of like information about your repository. What are the references, remote references? What are the objects? Those, that kind of information will be stored in this dot .git. So when you want to migrate uh, or uh, when you want to uh, migrate from one GitHub uh, to GitLab, so then you have to do something called as bear clone. So what that means is, so let's do that bear clone first and then I'm gonna show you. So how exactly it will be. So git clone. I'm going to use iPhone iPhone. 
there and you need to give the URL, the clone URL. So when I do this, so it will gonna create one more folder with kubernetes.git. So in this particular repository, what happens is like whatever, whatever was there in got, .git folder. So those things will be there under this kubernetes.git. So which, which doesn't have any source code. When I go inside, let me go inside. So it doesn't have any source code. So it is source code in the sense like uh, the code that we, we, we used to have it. Like it previously you can see, right? So I have all the uh, related codes, uh, related stuff basic troubleshooting, all the core is there. But in this case, when you do iPhone, iPhone there, you'll be able to have only the meta information. It can be hooks, it can be objects, all branch information, the metadata, it will be there. Okay, and now, uh, so as you have already created a GitLab um, repository, so we need this particular link now. So when I just have this one, so then uh, I need to use one more option. So to push to GitLab, so that, that is git push iPhone iPhone mirror, and then you need to give this particular URL. So when you just give it, when you click on enter, it will ask you to enter the GitLab username and password. So for example, let's say, um, in my case, it is uh, my mail ID and the password I'm just giving it. So now you will be able to see, so which has been uh, sent to that particular one. And when I go here and when I refresh it, you'll be able to see all that, uh, whatever the code, uh, like all the folders, whatever that I had in GitHub, you'll be able to see it here. And uh, while going with this particular uh, method, so you need to keep in mind, so whatever the PRs or whatever the issues will be there, it won't be migrated. So this is one of the uh, drawbacks you can see. But uh, so if you have this kind of scenario, you definitely need to solve those issues or uh, you, you just need to uh, work on those, uh, those pull requests and complete and then create, uh, migrate the repository. Else what you can do is you can just compare it and manually create the merge request and the issues. So there are a uh, few drawbacks with this methodology. So it depends on like the situation where, in which situation you are in, either one of the methods you can go ahead and you can use it. So that's it about uh, this particular video. So if you have liked the video, uh, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.